Dina, are you with us? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Dina, uh, what can you tell us about uh, the latest in the Global Conference for the City of Tourism held in Luxor? What have been happening today? Yes, as you know, the 104th session of the Executive Council of the World Tourism Organization was concluded yesterday with the participation of over 40 countries, including the ministers and representatives of tourism ministries from all over the world. And, of course, heading the sessions were Secretary General of the UN WTO, Dr. Tarab al and Minister of Tourism uh, Egyptian, uh, Mr. Yahya Rosh. Today was the inauguration of the first Global Summit on City Tourism under the title Cities and Local Culture for Global Travelers that was for two days today and tomorrow in Luxor Governorate. Today's session was, was concluded followed by a press conference during the summit Today, UNWTO has launched the Mayors for Tourism Initiative. It is a new initiative formed to gather mayors and decision makers in the cities to talk about tourism issues. This initiative aims to promote the important role of tourism as a driving force for social economic development in the cities and plays an important priority in the urban agenda. So mayors of the world cities have been invited to share best practices and managing the challenges and opportunities that tourism to propose formulas to align with their own tourism-related policies. It's like sharing your experience as you let other cities benefit from the journey. And of course, the Luxor hosted this event as it was named the capital of the world tourism for 2016. Mm -hmm. Well, what about these sessions now? Do you feel that they uh, reached any sort of conclusive decisions that would be taken within the tourism sector here in Egypt? Yes, um, heading, uh, first, uh, first heading the session today was Minister of Antiquities. He joined them, uh, uh, Khalid Al-Anani and His Excellency Hissam Bad, Assistant Foreign Minister and Luxor Governor Mohammed Bad. Yes, the main focus today was to explore the ways of maximizing the quality visitor experience. So how we can get the max while he's visiting this city. And this was, of course, by capable or as, to, as considered to be as one of the key tourist destinations in Egypt which includes numerous pharaonic ancient monuments that have stood the test and time and have proven itself on the touristic and culture map. And this was mentioned by Secretary General of the UN, WCO, Dr. Talib al -Rifai. And at the same time, they wanted to make sure that this tourist who comes to Egypt gets the safest and the most secure trip also. Also topics of enhancing the quality of life for the local community here by providing economic, social and cultural benefits so was very important after the Luxor city has been suffering for six years now as there are no tourists. Mm -hmm. Dina, did they at any point discuss uh, the beach tourism or uh, the tourism within the Sinai Peninsula in general? No, I cannot hear you. Can you please repeat your question? Yes, did they at some point discuss the uh, beach uh, tourism or the Sinai uh, Peninsula tourism in general? Yes, the Minister of Antiquities, Khair Ayin, has also said it's very vital to promote Egypt through hosting these events. And it's a very good chance to promote Egypt through hosting this event and to send several positive messages about the correct uh, image of Egypt in terms of uh, it's a very good place of tourist attraction, especially in terms of safety, secure. And I want to add uh, something here that the schedule of the media persons is very different than the delegation. Yani you can get, you, they get like um, the full schedule of visiting um, tourist sites here, museums, temples. So it's very nice for them to tour the city while they're here. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dina, for your prompt updates. That was uh, Nal TV's reporter Dina Hawaidak from Luxor. And by this, we end the political.